Everyone wants a cheeky Everyone one. Everyone wants a cheeky one off me. <laughs> Gillian has a good margin, with ingredients costing 60p a bag, while she charges £4. Grown Up Sweets is quite a niche market, but her favourites are gin and tonic and amaretto, which she makes at her home near Manchester. I've always wanted to work for myself. Oh, really oh, nice it's lovely when you're selling the marshmallow. Although when you're shouting to fancy a cheeky one over a pubbed car park, you have to make it quite clear it's a marshmallow you're offering. <laughs> Gillian's a court officer, but has long dreamt of a change. Oh, when she came home and said, I'm going to do my smells, I was like, oh, no. We've been through cakes, fudge, burger vans. <laughs> but how wrong were I? Cheeky. <laughs> to find out more and judge the process, Nisha visited her HQ. So this is your factory? It is, yes, and I can take you up to the bedroom and show you where the magic happens. What an invitation. Oh, my word. Originally, this used to be my daughter's bedroom. I can see a small camping stove. Is that what you cook on? Yes, that's what I cook my syrup on. So I'm going to make gin and tonic marshmallows. Is it animal gelatin that you're using? It's animal gelatin. And my recipe is completely different to any recipe that I've seen because I soak my gelatin in the alcohol. So, sorry, you're going to soak the gelatin in 100% in gin? Yes. And that's what makes your recipe different, is that right? Yes. So now I will get the syrup on the burner. The syrup is made from sugar, corn syrup and tonic water. I do put a little bit of gin essence in. Do you feel it needs that? It does give it a little bit of a flowery smell. To get the bouncy texture, the syrup is heated up to 102 degrees centigrade before the gelatin is added and it's all whipped up. Just going to put my lime zest in now. Wow. <laughs> It's then poured into trays and left overnight. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. For Gillian, selling a niche product suits her scale of operation at the moment. Initially, I thought maybe I'll try and sell them online, but I can't control how many I sell. Whereas, at least if I'm doing a market or a festival, I can get a guide of how many bags I'll need to make. It's a satisfying thud, that, is it? Yes. She can sell 100 bags at a single festival, but has higher hopes. I'm just a one-man band, but hopefully when it starts to grow, I can start to employ people. 